Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today we're going to get started on our new project. Um, basically what we've got here is a boat trailer, a very, very well built boat trailer, and the boat. <laughs> this is what the boat looked like now, there's the seats. And I'm hitting the uh, wrong button here. I was zooming in on you guys. But anyway, here's the rest of it right over here. And it was in pretty bad shape, man. It was full of water and about three or four inches of leaves. So there's the seat. There's the hull. There's part of the hull we haven't got cut down yet. And there's the nose piece. And this was what held it up off the bottom of the water was them two pieces, three pieces of styrofoam. And the steering wheel I'm gonna try to salvage. Now the steering wheel's not very good, but I'm gonna try to clean up the chrome because that part, if I do it right, will, um, clean up pretty nice and somebody's missing one for this year model boat I got one for sale steering wheel ain't worth a shit but anyway I got these two big old long channels that come off the side that rubber goes into and yes we'll use them for something I'm certain of that so it needs tires And we're going to probably just clean it up because I think the paint job on it's going to be okay for no more what I'm going to be using it for. I probably should paint it and I may, I don't know yet. But the next step is we need to eliminate these and eliminate these. And that one, those are simple enough to just take and put some WD-40 on it like I've already done. On each one of them I wire brushed them and WD-40 them. And there's the WD-40. And the wire brush, so I'm not lying. Alright, now these are going to be a little bit more difficult because the bottom screws are rusted so bad that it's not going to come out. So I'm probably going to get some spinning bolts right there because the wood's rotten and it's not going to hold it tight enough for me to break that nut off. So the top ones here are going to be a little more difficult. Once I've done that, then I'm going to take and cut all these off right here. All the stands. All of them are going to get cut off of the frame and we're going to grind that down to where it's level again. Same thing with those. Back there on the back, all the way around. Then we gotta cut the welds right here and pull that up off of there. And we'll use them rollers for something. We cut them down for bushings or whatever. And we got three of those. So that'll be stock. Now I don't know what I'd use those for. They're not, they're cone shaped, but we'll figure something out for them. Uh, it's got pretty decent springs. It's not the heaviest in the world, but this is only going to be made to use for a four-wheeler, even though I don't have one, uh, a lawnmower, uh, anything. And we're going to take and put two by, probably either two by sixes or two by tens. And we're going to start and put us a, one right in the middle all the way up. And then we're going to work on each side of it accordingly. And then whatever it falls on is where the short piece is going to go. Uh, I'd rather piece the outside than the inside. So we're going to use uh, either two by sixes or two by tens, whichever number uh, adds out to closest to fitting that hole. So then we're going to take that two by six or whatever all the way from the back all the way to the front and we're going to stop 
right here. And then you've got the rest of the tongue. All right. Now, that tongue can be used for several different things. You can put a toolbox on it or whatever. But I have a different plan. I plan to stop the, or take the floor all the way up right here in this area, all the way back to the back, all one piece. And I'm gonna cut it off about right here and make me a box, the same shape as that right there. And it'll be about, I don't know, 16, 17 inches tall. I want it to be below this because I want to utilize this for pulling lawnmowers on the trailer. I think I can restore that and make it a nice crank. And eventually, uh, since I'm putting a box on it, I can put a battery box right on the tongue and put an electric motor on it. And I believe I have an electric motor that I can use for that. So we'll find out. Might just go get one of them little winches that you put on a four-wheeler and mount it to it and be done with it. But that's the plan so far. Uh, does need tires. I think I mentioned that already. And I broke my tail light. It was so tight. I don't know how they got it in behind the trailer in between all them trees. But I had the devil the time getting this thing out. And I come out and I couldn't get it any further away from the trailer. And it, it, it was that much of fitting. And it hit that and broke that off. So I got to get me another reflector. Because it didn't hurt the light, it just hurt the reflector. And then we'll rewire this up with uh, some lights. And then we're off to the DMV to get us a title. And uh, be inspected and all over good stuff. So we're going to basically build us a flatbed trailer out of this boat trailer. Until the next part, stay tuned. All right, guys. We've got the center pieces cut off. And I've got that plywood sitting on there. And I was thinking that maybe I should keep these poles right here. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about them poles is the fact that you know, I lined my truck up there with it to see how it's going to be. And it don't stick out that far, no more than my mirror. So, the only thing I'm worried about is every time I come around my trailer, am I going to catch my arm on that thing? Of course, taillights are going to be sitting there, too. Um, I'm just going to play it by ear on that part. Uh, I wanted to try to fashion a uh, tailgate that folds down. And um, so I've cut all the pieces out and got it so I can lay that piece of plywood there. Now I wanted to originally use two by sixes or two by tens or two by eights or whatever. And I just didn't see any sense in using that when I've got the plywood here. Yes, a couple of them's half inch, a couple of them's uh, five eighths. But if I put all three of them together and screw them together, see, I have those. So even if I was to use that piece right there, which is a bad piece for putting any flooring down, and uh, it's been really mistreated. But if we use that for the center and then grab another one of these good ones, which the first three here are good, and these two here have some cutouts or damage on it. Now, this side over here doesn't look all that bad, but it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that big old wolf spider right there. Huh. Let me get a close-up on him. I don't shake you guys to death. Look at that big old wolf spider. Say hello to YouTube there, Mr. Spider. Anyway, uh, if I glue this one to that one and then come in here and get one of these big ones, the first one I think is actually three-quarter. I'll take this three-quarter piece and put it on top of yet the second one. 
So we'll have three pieces of plywood there, and I think that would be plenty, plenty of flooring for this trailer. Now, I'm gonna do some redesigning up here. Um, I'm gonna cut this off square to this next beam that goes across there. And let me put you on the tripod and see if we can Now what I plan to do is build some kind of a toolbox right here in this area, which I've already told you about. But I took this apart and cut that off because the head of that thing was just way too much. I didn't need the pulley or the uh, roller, so I'm going to put this on here. And I found this that came off of one of the tire racks that you put your tar, you bolt your tar to it. Or your spare and I just cut a notch in it so that this see that would fit right down in there so I'll take it put that on there and I'm not sure if I want to put it this way I probably want to put it that way and then put something in between here going down here for a brace just to make it look good it ain't really don't need to really be that strong. I'd rather have the brace on this side and then just put a piece straight down right there. That would be more, I'd give it more rigidity. Um, I could, however, put a, I don't know if I'd need a roller in there or not. I mean, that's an idea if I needed to. I won't know until I mount the, the crank to it. And I'm still debating on whether I want to put 12 bolt on it. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to have to put the crank on it until I can get me a winch. One of them four wheeler winches. Alright, then we're going to take this and we're going to try to get this off these welds. I don't know how I plan to do that. I may just buy another one of these that's a two inch use it like this for the time being and then um, this is inch and seven eighths I'd rather have two inch ball because that's the most common one um, and then I'm gonna move this up there in the beginning right here somewhere and then this right here will mount right where the rusty spot is where my point is right there and uh, that'll shorten this span up. And then I can always use that channel for something else. Um, in fact, I could probably use that channel for underneath the floor because it's got a brace. Let me put you down on, try this. It's got a brace right across here got a brace right across here and there's a four foot span in between each one of them so I can take what comes off of that if I do it right and then I can make another one across here and in the middle of that one and um, or I can use some treadmill stuff I've got some treadmill square stock here somewhere in fact right here it is it's a good possibility that I can use this heavy steel, it's heavy steel channel, and cut all that out of there. That used to be a treadmill. It ain't no more. But that's the biggest square stock I, I think I have. I haven't looked yet. I might have more. But it doesn't really matter if I'm doing triple layers of plywood then I don't think I'm going to have too much of a sag issue anyway. So, uh, thing looks crooked in the camera, but it's not. That shadow on the corner. Uh, I think it'll be a nice trailer. Uh, it's a little twisted, I believe, but I think it's because it's sitting on that jack and the weight's on one side of that jack. I don't like them jacks either. I think them jacks suck. 
probably put a better jack on this <clears throat> once I've shortened it. And I gotta get some 13 inch tars for it. And the things on the side, I think I'm gonna leave them there so that I can put weed eaters on it. Um, we'll do something like that. Might shorten the top, the tall ones, shorten it down to the same height as the other one, and then put the tail lights there. That's not a bad idea. I think I'll do that. Anyway, uh, that's the update on the uh, boat trailer being turned into a flat trailer. And the boat is already disposed of. You don't see no boat laying around here no more. <laughs> We cut it up in little teeny tiny small pieces and throwed it away. Anyway, trust me, you don't want to cut fiberglass without gloves and long sleeves. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to feel like somebody's stabbing you with 100,000 needles. And I speak from experience. <laughs> you guys have a good one, man. Later.